Hello, everybody. Welcome. We've made it to my first ever A Song From Nothing video in a new series where I'm going to be basically making a song from absolute scratch. There's no preconceived ideas. I don't know anything about anything. Um, and we're going to try and do this together. We're going to try and do this together. Uh, so let me describe to you the setup. I've got my laptop. I have uh, a microphone which is helping me talk, maybe record later. The microphone has been held up by some masking tape. Uh, and I've got the Juno 60 behind to record ideas. So all I have in this challenge is the computer. The Juno 60 is the only instrument and the rest will be done in the box, which is like production um, lingo for, for basically uh, doing everything in house in this box. Cool. Let's begin. Let's just go straight in. Um, first thing I like to do is create a different, uh, create a drum bed so that I can lay ideas over it later. So with the drum bed, I guess we're going to go for, well, we need to work out what tempo we're doing. This is a crucial element. And I think the tempo we should go for is this tempo 120 the original tempo why not so first things first we're going to get the hi-hat groove um that's what i usually do first so there's this is a, uh, an application called splice where you can like download different um sounds loops whatever um and for a hi-hat sound what i like to do is get a drum loop any drum loop doesn't matter. Any sound can be fine. And basically find the hi-hat sounds within that and and chop them up and program my own drum loop from that because I'm not one, as you'll see, I'm not really one to drag and drop. Um, sorry, to play in my sounds. I drag and drop my sounds. So let's just start finding a drum loop. Hi-hats, it's begun. Here we go. I mean, that's cool. So first thing we need to, I'm just gonna turn my brightness up. We need to go through and find every hi-hat. So what I like to do is get this marquee tool and you can basically, there's one. I know that's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. And you just need to go through and find every hi-hat, but it doesn't need to be every, it can be different velocities. And don't worry about cutting. This is my personal style, but don't worry about cutting to correct. We can fix that all later. Uh, let's get one more. I think we need one more. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're gonna go through and delete everything. Let me just look at some comments. Um, I'm trying to do this at the same time. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. If you just tuned in, we're going to be making a song from scratch. Right now, we're starting on the hi-hats. We're going straight in. Um, so all I'm doing is getting this hi-hat sound, each of these hi-hat sounds. And we're going to be um, dragging them as 16th notes, potentially. Don't worry, they don't have to be super locked to the grid. Uh, Cool, cool, cool. We can now go in intensely and make sure anything, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, now you just need to go through and fade them all so that they're not that more of a seamless sound. This should actually have a kick in it. You can tell it's obviously a bigger. Yeah. This one's slightly pushed. But that should be fine. Okay. Now. So 
sorry people are talking to me at the same time i'm trying to i'm trying to stay on it but let's create this hi-hat sound first um cool so let's not loop that let's join it joined it we've got it we've looped it let's get it going for about five cycles we're gonna control l j boom loop Annoyingly, my mouse is a bit slow, it's intense. There you have a hi-hat pattern. All we did was chop up a different loop. Um, but... Cool. Um, sweet, hi-hat's done. Now, what should we add? Let's go here and have a look at some kits. Maybe. My computer's intense at the moment right now. I mean, that's quite heavy. Let's go for that. Um, Can I turn up the gain of my mic volume? Okay, wait a second. Doing that for you right now. Test, test, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ha, 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 ha. Test, one, two. That's probably as loud as I can get. It's not a great quality mic, but um, cool. We're gonna... Let's go for a four on the floor vibe. Actually, Let's make it 199. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we got this kick. 120 was not the vibe, I don't think. So with the kicks, I find a kick sound I like. I'm not even sure about this one, but just for the sake of creation, let's commit to it. Um, ask me any questions as I'm going. I'm going to try and look but i'm trying to make this as fast as possible um you know let's go for like a so what i like to do is drag and drop my drums so that i can visualize where they are on the grid um you can drag them equally to the grid like this um you can, let's join them later but you want some to be swung let's get this there's so many ideas so many things to talk about. Um, let's get this hi-hat sitting behind the beat. So we've selected the hi-hat. We're just going to delay it by like, I don't know, 40. Now I always like that one. The second one usually can be uh, swung. The second one of each four bar pattern. Um, cool. As I plug in my I should be back. Is everything here? Am I back in the world? Cool. Okay. Let's look for a clap snare sound. I mean, let's go for that. Interesting name, Snap Pussy, but um, let's see how we go. For the sake of flow, let's just drag it to the two and four. Now that's too lazy. Um, again, I like doing this. Basically, I'm keeping the kick where it is, but I'm delaying it over here. Uh, it's, it makes the project a lot neater, if that makes sense. Um, so we're going to go cool. Um, let's get some shakers in to signify the ones and twos. Boom.
this is all basic uh, Trum programming, but it'll help us get an idea in place. What I usually do is, so I may have programmed this hi-hat pattern, but it could be the fact that it gets replayed later by someone on drums. Um, anyway, let's power on. Now we need to get some variation in the kick. This is a hot tip and I'm, this is take it or leave it, but this has changed my life when I discovered it. But instead of doing um, double kicks like this and turning it down for different velocity, if that makes sense, I mean, this is for people that drag and drop. I create a new channel and use this channel as the kick ghost. Uh, so let's go before this second kick here. And then on top of that, this is a kick double channel, which would be um, giving you more range to maybe use this one as a pure side chain or use it as the main kick. And this could be a kick double. It could be a different sound. It could be affected slightly differently. Um, I, I usually just randomly drag it wherever doesn't really matter uh, exactly how it sounds. That's not the purpose. So we've cool, we're cool with this. Let's join it. Cut it in half. Uh, loop it again. Okay. Cool. Now let's get a drum loop. Let's go for anything. See how we go. What I'm doing is trying to find a snare, really. Um, I'm not trying to jack a whole loop. If we do that on the second snare or something. Um, Get another loop. So I heard a. Let's get this open hi hat. Um, we're starting from scratch, people. For those of you just tuned in, we're starting a beat from scratch. I'm trying to do it in front of the peoples to uh, give myself some pressure making music on the spot. Um, what I'm doing now is rolling off the low end on this open hi-hat, so it's just like. Cool. I'm not into that. Let's find another one. I mean, that was nice. I mean, let's keep that actually. Let's keep that on another channel. This is a cool little ghost thing that could be like, I don't know, going into the one like this. Also not really into that sound either, but we can power on and, uh, Crack on with it anyway. I mean, so what I just did there, sorry, I just rushed through that, was I'll do all of it. 
So what I did was I created a snare here, put a snare there, put a snare there, joined them so that I could then cut the silence out, put that at the start of the loop, loop them, cut the loop, consolidate the loop tracks into audio files and then join them so that I have one seamless. Um, I mean, this could be every, every time we can find a better snare, but for now, let's go with that. We've got desktop kit. Any comments? I'm just so, let me have a break. Look at some comments. Cool, I'm so proud of myself. Great, beautiful, just okay, lovely. Um, cool, I guess there's this being comments, not really. So let's power on. Now we need to find like, we need to create atmosphere. Atmosphere. Now bear with me here because this is a very weird technique, but I like to do it to uh, glue the track, if that makes sense. So we've got this, which needs to be rolled off heavily. Rolled off meaning rolling off the low end. Uh, maybe rolling off a bit of the high end as well. You just want that to be noise, basically. Now this... It's an Atmos typewriter. Let's just get the most chaotic sections. Um, drag them all. Again, does not matter about the edit. Uh, it could be random. It could be anything. Let's fade it all so there's no pops in the black EO. Uh, we're going to join it. Maybe like do some weird delay on it. You don't really want that low end. And then let's send it to like crystallizer, random app, make it wet, really low in pitch, no, really high in pitch, random splice, short. All right. Okay, cool. Actually, before we do that, let's bounce it in place so that the effects are on that channel. Then loop it from about here. I have no idea why. That's like when you're creating atmospherics, it's all random. You know what I mean? So now this sound is like cool. Let's loop it. Now this one. Eliza, why not? Let's just keep it consistent. Lower the pitch. Um, we're going to roll off the low end of that as well. Cool. Let's bounce it in place. Why not? Random selection. It does not matter, honestly. I'm breaking all the rules here, but um, the point of this is going to be so quiet anyway. But you're just finding a random sound. Um, now, we send all of these three things to a bus. Our first bus has been created. It's called Atmos Atmosphere Bus. Cool. We're going to compress that. 
compress that from maybe the kick snap pussy <laughs> no the kick I'm basically just going to fade it in until I feel like it, it's gluing something but maybe I'll reverb before um, this the side chain so that you know sounds a bit like wet be more delayed also pitched Doo -doo. um cool don't worry people i'm going to get to your comments after every sound i'll go through some comments um cool okay What does Fab Filter Pro do better than the stock EQ? I mean, it does a lot better. Simply, you can... I mean, there's so many things it does better, but let's go just with one. If I have this sound, you can, you can solo specific frequencies. So if you're doing a vocal take and you're, there's something ringing, you could take it out easily. Um, cool. Anyway, that's that's the tip. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get some sort of like percussion. But I don't really want all of it. Let's just get a bar of it, maybe. Someone just asked me what's the what's the shortcut I'm using to chop up. So I've got three tools here. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. So I've got the this tool. Then when I hold Command, it goes to the second tool. And then I have the fade because I'm if I'm constantly cutting like that, I delete. I can fade with the right click really easily as well. So it's a seamless way of editing. Um. Okay. Again, I mean, I do this a lot, but I just manipulate the audio. Um, we're gonna. I'm rolling off the EQ constantly to clear room for the. Um, it could probably sit behind the beat even more. And instead of dragging it like this and making the project messy, um, we can do so by keeping it on the one and dragging it like this. That's delaying the signal to the output. This one should be delayed more, I think. Okay. The I mean, cool, that's cool for now. We're powering through this, people. Um, no, the atmosphere stuff isn't timed with anything. It's all random to create. Um, just to create chaos, you want to be able to create. All it is is getting something from the kick, which is in time, because it's this kick that's on the one in time. Um, but other than that, it's all chaos. 
Someone just said it's choppy stream. So it's buffering. Really annoyed. That is frustrating. Um, but this is going to be available afterwards anyway, so don't stress. Okay. Cool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send all of these drums to a drum bus of which I like to affect it. I mean, I like to go in a lot deeper, but for speed purposes, let's go for this. What it is, it's basically a bit crusher. It's a high quality bit crusher. Um, and it's it just grunt it gives it a bit of grunt and a bit of heaviness you can boost it like a guitar amp you can boost the signal in and let's see but i don't like to go that heavy so cool um Shaker. Have we got a shaker yet? Not really. I wonder if we can like half speed this. It might sound ridiculous. I have an idea actually. If we do this. If we go custom vary speed, the tempo is 99, so we would need to get to, God, 49.5. Now I need to do that as a real bounce. Um, shaker, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Let's turn very speed off. Shaker, ha, ha, ha. Let's, let me just go through and find this shaker. Shaker, ha, 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 here it is. Get a snippet of it. I'm joining the audio, I'm looping the audio, I'm cutting the audio. Control L, J, boom. Um, that should be cool. Don't worry about the cut, like sometimes that's cool. Obviously you can hear that it's a cut shaker, but um, it's fine. Oh God, it's quite late though. Let's fix that. Hmm. I need to cut some silence. Why I did that was I cut silence, put it at the end, and then I can have a consolidated audio file again. Uh, it does need to be sitting more behind the beat though, so I can just do that by doing here. Okay, let's go ask some questions. Okay, someone said it's been 30 minutes. Okay, here we go. I, I, I'm slowing, I'm, I'm boring people, aren't I? Okay, let's just crack on. There's the drums. That's all we got for now. We're going to create new audio track, Juno. Uh, maybe let's call it Juno Atmos. Um, let's repeat these.
No, basically, I like the pressure. I want to be able to make this as fast as possible. Just as a challenge. Um, you probably ask yourself, what the hell was Jordan just doing just there? Um, but I want to create a pedal tone, actually. I just decided. Wow, look at that Juno signal there. That's probably the Scarlet 2i2, folks. Don't go and buy one. Okay. No, I mean, yeah, that could be the vibe. Maybe stereo delay to create some like, but you don't want any of that. Again, you need to roll off the lows. I cannot stress that enough. It's funny, someone said Kate Trinata. Anyway, let's try and, let me just try and um, play some chords under that to try and find a main theme. Um, oh, no, I'm just going to look at some comments. Um, cool. So if, if there's questions, I will answer it. Um, yeah, sorry. I just, I did say don't buy two I two, but I don't mean it. I'm just joking because this is what I learned how to make music on when I was 13. I was making beats in my room on a Scarlet two I two. No hating. This is just my quarantine setup. Okay. So a lot of the time with music is you need to find a sound that you like. So I'm just going to play this beat and find a sound that I think will fit. That's a tip for people. If everyone can still hear me, can you? That's the question. Yes, you can. Um, instead of turning down, which I have done anyway, you can turn the gain down here, which is quicker to save you automating it. Anyway, let's power on. So what I need to do is find maybe six chords with this note in it, because that's the, what's it called? Pedal note on top. Um, I'm just going to solo this. I mean, you probably, what we want to do is get this compressing with the kick as well. I know that's so bait, but that's what we do in the industry. We side chain everything. Okay, here we go. Get 
get some level in that. I mean, that could be a verse, do you know what I mean? Keep it simple. It's all working. Am I, am I breaking out if the people are still in this session with me? But we, I mean, this is why audio is tough. I mean, that's all behind the beat slightly. Again, so these are both early. I do this a lot. I do a lot of editing in post to make sure that the feel is there. I mean, that's not a good take. So let's just get this take. Any questions, feel free to ask. I'm here for you. I'm here for anything. We love you, Brazil. You're Brazil. Uh, cool. Uh, there's no questions. It's just comments. That's fine. Let's power on then. What do we get? 40 minutes. We got to finish this. Maybe I'll take the lows of that as well. Um, so that I can do a bass part instead. Actually, before I change the sound, let's get, I don't know. Yeah, we could have like a, let's do that again. I mean, that could be like a, what's it called? Pre or a chorus, um, like a breakup, but let's color it for now because so we're aware of what that is. You know what I mean? Um, okay. So let's do Juno bass. Any questions, feel free to ask. Um, beat library. Is that pad temporary so you can get a vibe? No, that's hopefully going to be there. <laughs> hopefully it's going to make the final cut. We'll see. <laughs> that was sort of like a backhanded compliment. That shit idea that you started with, is that good? Is that going to stay? Well, I guess not now because you don't like it. Nah, I'm just joking. Okay. I mean, 
mean, this Juno is crazy, isn't it? cheesy is that not the right sound is it okay i'm just gonna go for it that's what we do Let's just go for it. Can't be ridiculous, guys, can it? Cool. Let's go with that bass sound for now. Um, we can always change it later, but let's gain it because for some reason it's really quiet. <laughs> I think it's cool. I wonder what it'll sound like if it was sort of shorter attack. Shorter decay, sorry. Yeah, so this bit could be like a segue if it was like um like everything dropped when this or that could be like pads or something. Sweet as like a like American far away. Do you know what I mean? It's like a moment. I mean, that's where the drone could continue. And maybe that could be the second verse. Okay, we'll arrange it later. Let's just get ideas down ASAP. We'll do the arranging later. Um, anyway. My thing is annoyingly laggy, but it's okay. Um, uh, 
I'm not sure about this bass line. I feel slightly embarrassed, but I'm going to commit because I've done it live and I can't really. Let's make it mono because you can't let that really get in the way. Um, cool, let's keep going. What can we do now? Maybe like an arpeggiated. Let's do it. You thought I was just going to hold that arpeggio, didn't you? That's not the case. That's definitely, I just want to find the right note. That one. And maybe that one. Now, as you can probably tell, clearly I don't care where I chop. It's all about vibe. That's what I'm talking about. Do you know what I mean? It's about vibe. Diddle a diddle a clap. Let's stretch this one. Okay. Okay, so that's just something I should show you. You have an audio event like this. You hold Alt and you can stretch it to manipulate it in any way. You can go quick. In fact, let's make this one quick. This one long. Loop it, but we want it to really cut on the snare, don't we? And that's the key, getting it to really lock. So. Cool. Cool. We're bouncing it in place. We're going to join them as a stereo pair. I think it's Apple J. So that they exist on one track. And then we can. Why is it not letting me do that? We're going to cut it on the snare, which is I know is beat two. And it can just be a fade up. Not sure about that now. The idea was cool originally. Maybe it could be an octave lower. Sorry everyone, I will talk. Let me just finish this and I will get there. I wanna get rid of this fade actually. Diddle, diddle. That's quite cool. Anyway, someone just said, why bounce in place? Because that way, firstly, it saves you energy. It saves you space. Also, it makes the project a lot cleaner. So now all that shit I was just recording equals these two things. Do you know what I mean? Burn. Okay, let's go back to some drums. Let's find a reverb sort of clap. Clap? Quite cool. So it's going to be going with this into the last. 
one end to be a whole beat, I think. Super quiet. And then we need a big ass snare. Sorry, that's my flume you can't ignore that. We need a big ass snare to hit on that four. They all sort of suck, don't they? Like a um, That's quite heavy, that might be too low fi but let's try. Let's try. Let's stretch it. Again, I'm stretching it. This is cool, I like doing in long snares. So you got the long snare. Um, and then you like chop a sixteenth of it, so it's like Oh wait, whoops. I should be here. One and one e and one e. Sort of doing what I want it. Five L I A in the mall. This off. It's funny people do that, don't they? They like make a beat like this. Um. Okay, we're getting into a flow state, people. I'm cool with that. I know it's weird, but I say let's go for it. Let's commit. So what I'm going to do here, join that, and then I can cut it again so that this becomes a loop, which I can then join, and then it's a four-bar loop. Do you know what I mean? A lot easier to work. Um, same thing with these. You just press J. Now I know for certain this is the one. And this is, I'll do it again actually, so that I have. Um, you ideally want a four bar sequence somewhere, which is here. Cut it, and you can just have it as your thing. So we're nearly an hour in. It's not great development, but we're getting there. We're just sound manipulation. <laughs> got to be it's sort of got to be like weirder do you know what I mean out comes a crystallizer like an octave higher I could put it back an octave higher but make it really short really god no no okay that idea faded really quickly It needs, I know there's something clicking in the left ear, but that needs to be like harsh and bright, I think. Let's put it in the decapitator. Oh shit, I haven't even saved this. Let's save it first. Now we're going to drive it, punish it, turn the output down. Yeah, that's more like it. Annoyingly, those clicks are uh, annoying me, but fast full like.
bass is still really quiet. We need like a wet shaker. Shaker in here, potentially. Shaker. All right, so let me look at some comments. Um, Marnie needs to make a guest. I love people, they know their shit. Granular reverb. Sorry, I'm just having a look at some comments. Um, any questions? How would you recreate all the percussion elements live? Well, I don't know. I don't know if this song would. <laughs> um, but I don't worry about that when I make music. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather it sounded cool. Um, you know? This is a cool way to get um, like feel in a, in a shaker. Is put it in a delay. And then you can like deviate it. But we want that to be wet, like a drum verb. Um, to the end probably no again cut the loop boom you then have four bar sequence but you got to do it four times obviously joining is so key it basically it helps you visualize everything a lot neater and that makes the, the workflow a lot better so while i was visualizing about this shake i'm not sure if it's the right vibe it's like so this groove's going let's play it to get some context we need some context um Beats going. In fact, hold on. So we probably won't have any drums. To s let's arrange later. Anyway, let's just wait. shaker could go so that's like more bright this pad might not be in there on the drops it's more of like a second it definitely shows a section you know what i mean something in this space part.
yeah so this kind of that can cut out there um okay let's just start arranging and then we'll know what we need to put in later um i'm just gonna join these because they're driving me crazy maybe that's ocd that i have so i know for sure um that this is the end of the circle so let's just cut it and then drag it there everything needs to be yeah oh my god i mean look at this chaos this is what your session would look like if you didn't join it let's do it right now join it might require so this is okay this is a trick you've joined it okay it's loading you i just press j that's all i do um and you're asking yourself but wait a minute jordan wait a minute it didn't join these bits here well have i got the answer for you get a bit of silence maybe not that much this much Go through, drag the silence to the start of all these sections. Shit, that needs less. Um, cool. And then drag that same silence. Let's make it more so it's easy to drag. To the ends of each section. Then we're going to do a rejoin again. Um, so now you have a nice clean session. Um, cool. So how I reckon we would start this is sort of like these, oh God, I haven't joined that. God, I thought I'd joined that before. Um, So just to create, maybe insert section there. Oh. Insert section? No. Insert silence. Okay, cool. Um, we got maybe the Atmos. I know. That bass is coming after the drop, basically. Problem solved. So, which means the Juno pad should probably still be in there as well. Um, maybe these drums can come later as well. I'm getting beat four of one of these loops. This is the bit where it's basically like, damn, shorty, I saw you yesterday and I thought that I would stumble upon myself to say that I truly loved you and I walk across the room and introduce myself to you, but I didn't think that was possible. So for now, instead, I'm gonna say, I just carry persons to myself, baby. Still the verse. Yeah. I mean, that could be the chorus if we're happy to keep the chorus the same um yeah i mean that could be the chorus we could just do it for half okay in that case let's let's color that first we've got the chorus not really i'll just know from here let's color it light blue now we're going to repeat the section again. I know this is bait, but basically you got the chorus. You probably dropped the bass line out of the last bit of the chorus. 
you probably drop some of these drums out the last bar maybe um i'm just arranging it now so that it can help me think about what i can layer later if that makes sense maybe just the last two kicks <laughs> Oh, then I go for the bass back in. Without the pads this time, changing it up. Cool. Someone said we can barely hear what you're saying. Um, sorry, I'll talk closer to the mic. That can be out there. They could be more fading in to this bit. Let's get an open hi hat. Sometimes it's cool when it sounds shit, if you know what I mean. <laughs> One and. One and two and three and four and. Join it. But we only need one of these bad boys. Turn it right down firstly and also set it behind the beat. So let's 30. <laughs> This open hi hat, I think it's this one. Just for the chorus. Cool. Now we need to layer some stuff. I'm hearing a lot of emptiness. Um, so let's get back into it. Let's call this Juno Bright because it's got to be bright. Actually, that could be cool, like in the second verse. Sorry, ideas. Apologies. Find a sound. Maybe just for sake of inspiration, let's just put a delay on this. I like dotted.
that's just purely going to act as like a signifier of each section. Does that make sense? Um, I'll gain it loads and then turn it down here. Cool. Yeah, there needs to be the same sort of noise, but it's got to be bright, I think. Sounds weird now, but it's going to be side chained. That was the envisionness of it. Um, Oh God, what have I done? Bye. Cool, I mean, that's just, it's just gonna make things sound a bit brighter in the chorus. Um, We can really smack it. Do you know what I mean? I show off, yeah. I'm not sure about this idea. I'm just going to mute it for now. Um, okay, let me go back to some questions. It's going to be someone just said I... Um, they missed the section, but don't worry, it's going to be recorded so you can watch it again for as many times. You can pause it and all that sort of thing. Um, it's been an hour and 15. Hopefully, we're getting somewhere now. Um... I mean, this could be like... Ba, 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 ba. Wait, so we got Yeah, like locked, you know what I mean? Heavy, tight.
What the fuck is happening? I mean, that cool. That could be the second verse. I wasn't feeling the the uh, the other one. You know what I mean? We've got that. Maybe. Oh shit. Maybe I'll bring this back in. Maybe he can welcome himself back into the party. Someone said you always write the lyrics before the instrumental, but I haven't written any lyrics now. Um, where's the drop? We can get the drop happening for you right now. Are you ready? Are you ready to go crazy? But save when the fan like me. Cool. There needs to be like more chaos, but it's hard to do that with just a Juno, but um that's the challenge I've set myself. Probably like, what the fuck was that shit? Um, cool. So let's fully arrange it. Um, I'm gonna, I know what I can do. I have to change the audio input. Thing is, this mic is not very good quality. Hopefully you still, let me see if you can still hear me. Testing one, two. But at the same time, I can record into here as well. That's what I'm talking about. Um, mic pads. Uh, oh, oh, oh.
Oh, uh, this mic is not amazing quality. That's okay. So my you may have Send them all to a bus. Damn, my mic's getting slow again. Vocal bus. Sure. This can just be used as like a um a suction method. You know what I mean? Just gonna fix this now before people get really anal about it. Fix this as well. I'm going to play the track from start to finish and I need maybe some pointers about what we need. I mean, there's so many, so much more that I could put in. Um, let's not give up. Let me have a listen. Actually, before I do that. Before I do that, I'm just going to go back to the Juno. A little space for the drop. Nah, bro, we need tension growing into the drop. I mean, that's this, that's what this whole space is here. There's no drums. Okay. 
Anyway, let's go from the top. Might as well record that. I think this would be cool just to sit underneath. Whoa, what did I just do? That's actually how I created one of the hiding place sounds uh, was like Totally forgot about that pad. Wow, that sounds really weird now. That's more of like a, I mean, why not? Let's sing and get the vibes. Um. be going that could be sending um to an octave higher for the second verse we'll have to automate that um cancel
to come down a bit actually. Cool. Cool. I think like. I think. Um, I mean, we're, we're not there with the finished product, but in an hour and a half with a very slow drum programming sesh. That's the bare bones of a song. Maybe if I did like a. I'm just going to take a risk. I'm just going to do an ad lib vocal take as the final vocal take just to show people maybe how to process vocals or whatever. Um, input one should just be this. Yo. Test one, two. Okay, that's really quiet. Uh huh. Uh huh. But, but you're probably, probably. I'm just going to turn my vocal, vocal down, down here. here. Uh huh. Yo. Yo. Uh huh. So now you can no longer hear me in the normal vocal. You can only hear me in Logic. I'm just going to do a random take. Okay. Laggy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh. I have quarantine voice, so give me a break. Sing wildfire. Uh, I'll sing one of my own songs so that I can arrange it. Actually, no, I won't. back up to 13 yo testing cool i mean that's that's an idea so let's actually no i won't fire burns always sucking for something shameful my reading on myself i rush it up my way on the cold Cool. I'm waiting on a miracle. Yes, a goddamn miracle, man. So I usually use Slate um, for my compression, but I don't have that, so I just have to compress with the Logic one for now. So Don't ask about my self-control, baby. This is not the verb I use either. I use usually UAD, but just for vibes. Yeah. Actually, no, I won't. How about for the sake of um
How about for the sake of it, I sing out of this National Geographic thing to read lyrics. This is about, oh no, that's not the right topic. That's about slavery. It's not really the right vibe, is it? This is how to set off a plague of locusts. Okay. This is the final take. Oh, 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 oh. It's how a single. Okay. That that is. That's how a big single swarm can get. Made up of multi small swarms and get. Reference, reference in the Bible. And that's how it breaks in the extinction. Nah, it's cool. Let's go with my freestyle vocal. <laughs> okay. So basically, for song, um, for song generation ideas, this is enough to really go for. Father. If anyone wants the instrumental, send a comment. Uh, if I'll, maybe I'll chill for a few questions. Um, anyone got any questions before we head out? Or do you want me to cover anything else? Remember, this is just session one. There's going to be plenty more sessions with different instruments. How do you make sure you don't repeat the same kind of build up? sounds vibes while working on multiple songs i guess change the instrument source is that what you mean um changing the source of like the sound so for example one song could be a guitar one song could be a you know you know next week i could just do guitar only and try and make it um like that odd time signature next time sure Someone said, do you mind playing the whole thing one more time? Maybe I'll, p actually, yeah, I'll play it at the end. Will this be uploaded? Yes, this will be uploaded afterwards. Sorry, the people that are watching this as an upload, this will remain uploaded. <laughs> um, when did you get interested in singing? When I was, I started singing when I was young. When did you start? I started singing when I was four or five. Um, Okay. God, there's a lot of questions, sorry. Like I see you have a gainy key compressor, anything else? This is not my vocal channel, by the way. This is not how I usually process my vocals. It's just this mic was so low. This is like a really cheap USB mic for pure podcasting purposes. Um, but so I had to gain it a lot because I'm talking in it now and you can see it's only coming up this low. Um, compressor, I usually use a UAD compressor. Anyway, I'm not an expert. Everyone's got their own flibes. Um, um, okay, there's, there's lovely people. It's going to be up again. Thanks so much for watching and peace out, everybody.